Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and the former birth Bush ethics attorney says Trump is going to be in violation of the Constitution on day one. Now, first of all, Bush ethics lawyer, that's a contradiction in terms. But anyway, former ethics attorney from George W. Bush administration raised alarms about Donald Trump's potential conflict of interest and he sees no evidence President Lex's team is taking the issue seriously. Sip of coffee. And Trump said on Tuesday during a meeting with New York Times editors and reporters that the law is totally on his side because the President can't have a conflict of interest and that attitude deeply troubled troubles Richard Painter, White House, Chief White House Ethics Lawyer from 2005 to 2007. I don't see how the Electoral College can vote for someone to become president. It's going to be in violation of the Constitution on day one. And as hasn't assured he's not in violation, Painter said. Now, I'm going to get to this ethics clause in a minute. This is just as important as your birth certificate, more important than the birth certificate or proof of age or whatever requirements there are to become President of the United States. No, it's not. Actually, it's a very obscure clause that nobody's ever heard of. That is bullshit. Painter said that he suggested Wednesday morning to Kellyanne Conway that Trump should address potential conflicts with the U.S. government's em emolument clause by turning over the U.S. government for audit any payments made to his business by foreign governments on or their entities after his inauguration. The obscure constitutional clause bars anyone holding any office or profit or trust from accepting the compensation from any, from any king, prince, or foreign state without congressional approval. So far, they are showing no willingness to address potential conflicts of interest, and saying the message to me is they aren't even interested in my advice because I don't support Donald Trump for president, Painter said. I'm not interested in what you have to say either, Mr. Painter. You are a commie liberal, or at least a rhino. Well, now he's president for all of us, for all American people. He's going to be, and he needs to be, comply with the Constitution at bare minimum, Painter's from continued. Why didn't you say that about Obama, Mr. Painter? They need to recognize the problem and address it. Well, so let's take a look at that clause. It's a real clause. They're not making that up. No title of nobility shall be granted by the United States. And no person holding any office or profit or trust under them shall, without the consent of the Congress, accept any present emolument, emolument, Office or title of any kind whatsoever from any king, prince, or foreign state. So, in other words, his private business dealings, as long as they're not with governments, uh, don't even count. Any present emolument, office, or title of any kind whatsoever from king, prince, or foreign state. So let's take a look at the definition of that. A salary, fee, or profit from employment or office. Emolument. Emolument. Whatever. Uh, a salary, fee, or profit from employment or office. He's not going to be holding a foreign office. 
And he's not going to be employed by a foreign government. This is just a bunch of gobbledygook. It's the mental disorder of liberalism, I believe. I'm thinking that the Congress is not going to say a doggone thing. If they don't say anything, you people are SOL. And here we uh, have who else? The New York Times, that bastion of commie liberalism. They're saying the same basic thing. The emoluments clause. They're trying anything they can to uh, get Trump out of there. They're trying everything they can to overturn your vote. Just remember that. This is disgusting. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.